Erica. I see you're still here as usual. I can't really move on when I had nothing to move on to. What about, you know, heaven? <laughs> Come on, Bessie, you know better. You know they'd never let me into a place like that. Okay, then why don't you get it over with and just go to hell? Are you serious? No, I cannot be next to those stinky, smelly, sticky insults and dictators. No, thank you. Besides, I'd rather be here seeing your exciting life. Right, how can I forget? And you know, I can't exactly get out much. You died like five years ago. Okay, listen, how was I supposed to know that chicken sandwich would kill me? It was from a gas station. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Well, I'm sure there's someone else in this building who died that you can talk to. No, not really. You know, you know, there's that one guy on this floor, but he's old. I, I don't get with old ghosts. He died when he was 30. Anyways, why would I get with somebody like that when I can be here seeing your pathetic love life? It's not pathetic. Okay, come on. You texted your mom you were terrified because you couldn't work up the balls to text your crush that you liked them. Hey, you leave my mom out of this. Come on, it's not that hard to text someone that you think they're cute. How would you know? Chip, you know what? I'll just show you. Wait, Jessica, don't! Fuck, Jessica, what the hell? If you won't grow some balls, then I will. No, what, what are you... What are you doing? I'm trying to help. You bastard, get out of my body! Stop fucking with my life! What life? I have a life. Barely. At least I'm not dead. How dare you! You're welcome. I hate ghosts. Okay, so you're feeling.